soft soldering demonstration by me, Mike DeRoche. What we have is a trumpet where we've removed a main tuning slide. We've had to remove it, frozen slide, and we've now unsoldered it. We've prepped it, we've cleaned the areas. You can still see the line. I've taken the time to clean the bottom slide to make sure that it slides well inside the trumpet. To have a good fit, I place it on there, it literally holds itself in place. Now, I do not have to worry about the alignment of it because I'm going to do that on the instrument as this is going to be a fairly fast repair. We want to make sure our bottom one slides correctly. We don't care about our top one, although we do want that eventually. We simply fit it together and it, place it together. Now, if we eye these two points and they happen to be right in line with each other, we stand a good chance. Now, how can we be absolutely sure? Well, if we push this in, we can start seeing the gaps the same. Now, if your slide is a bit tight, we can simply check it with a dial caliper from here to here and here to here. If they are the same, our slide will close at the exact same time. For a quick demonstration of that, I can close this slide and it will meet. If I use my dial calipers, I can simply take a measurement from here to here and I can double check it down here and if I have a mat, which I do, I know that once I get the slides all the way in, I am going to have a match. Okay. Now having said that, I notice I have a slight gap, very, very slight gap here. I can deal with that after because there is no brace on this side. I can twist that slide slightly and have that turn out to be the perfect match. Pull our slide back out, reinsert it, and we're ready to begin resoldering our top part of the slide. Using a rather gentle flame, nothing too hot. I simply going to preheat the area, going around the ferrule, apply a little bit of flux. In this particular case, I'm using 7030. These can be applied on very simply at 6040. Now, when I apply my my solder, apply it without getting solder in the flame. I'm simply going to check around it, make sure it's gone all the way around. If it hasn't, apply a little bit of flux in the area where it has not run. Double check both sides. Once again, if I have to, I can add flux. Now in this particular case, I'm going more for the correct bond. I see that I have solder all the way around. I have a complete bond. My joint is now soldered. Now while we're in this state, if I quickly wet it down, you'll notice that the majority of all the black material from the area disappears. And that's exactly what we want. Some people like and suggest instead of straight water in this time, you use a bit of soap, such as uh, ivory liquid or something towards that, palm olive, uh, in your water. And that allows it to wash off, okay? and not leave any, neutralize some of the acids out of there. And that quickly, our slide is now adjusted. Now, that's the demonstration. It literally takes that quick. If we take a look at our piece, we'll just pull it out here. Remember, we'll want to work a little bit, probably cleaning on our top slide. If we take a look at our piece, 
we see that we're soldered all the way around. There are no gaps. We have a little bit of cleanup, which can be either simply scraped In this particular case, I'm just scraping it back to the point, scraping down to it, because I can reach a lot of areas. Now, if this was silver, two things. First of all, I would have used low temperature silver. Notice I have a nickel ferrule here that does not require low temp silver solder. Okay. I'm going to scrape off a little bit gently as much as I can. I've got it to this stage here. We've got all pretty much all the chunks gone. I'm going to go to the buffing room. I'm going to buff this area up and I will show you the finished product uh, leaving the old material. Okay. Okay, I'm now back from the buff room. This has literally taken me three minutes. You can see by the shine, camera in the background, the joint literally looks factory. Okay, all the way around. It's important that we get that all the way around. I can now finish this piece. In this particular case, I have finished the entire crook to have it look brand new. Thank you very much.